What's up, Forex for Beginners family? Okay, so today we're setting up MetaTrader 4 on our phone. Um, I'm using an iPhone. If you have an Android phone, it's pretty much the same process. You go to your app store and you download MetaTrader 4. So top left here, you can see the app store. So we're going to click on it and we're going to, uh, in the search bar, top left here, we're going to type in M. T4 standing for MetaTrader 4. We're going to hit search. And the second one that comes up here is MetaTrader 4. Uh, right below that says MetaTrader 5. We're not going to download MetaTrader 5. We're using MetaTrader 4. Uh, so here I've already downloaded it, so it shows open. Uh, for you, you'll see a little cloud with the download area. You want to click on that. And once it's finished downloading, you can click on open. Once you're in MetaTrader 4, this is uh, it's not connected right now to any account, so you're not going to see any information. So you want to look at the very bottom where it says Quotes, Charts, Trade, History, Settings. You want to tap on Settings, and the top left says Trade Account, and you want to just click on the little plus sign here. And you, the second menu there, it says Log into an existing account. You want to hit that button right there and then enter company or server name. So you want to click on that and you want to type in Hugo's, H-U-G-O-S, and it brings up Hugo's Way. We want to select Hugo's Way Demo 3. So we're going to tap on that. And here we're going to put in our login information. Uh, in the previous module, we uh, set, set up a demo account and uh, you should have the login information. So we're gonna put in the login information from that email. We're gonna put in the password. We're gonna make sure save password is selected on. And then on the top right, we're gonna hit sign in. Once that's all done, uh, you'll uh, know you're signed in because if you go back to this page and you click on trade, the middle bottom left where, or the bottom where it says trade, bottom middle, I should say, if you tap on that, the top right here should show $500 or whatever size trading account that you set up. Uh, I suggest the setting of a $500 trading account just so we can keep the account uh, uh, small and just as real as possible because we want to treat this demo account like a real account. So when we start with, say, a $200 account or a $400 account, real account, we're going to already have practiced using uh, a small amount to start our live account but right now we're working on our demo account so if it's all set up correctly right here you should see a $500 amount and in the next modules um, I'll show you how to open and close trades